Dear friends in Christ, grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit and all God's people say, Amen. Amen. So I want to talk to you folks for just a couple minutes this morning as we celebrate the blessing of the animals. I want to talk about mother bunnies and the bunnies they love. So one of our joys in life was snuggling on the couch with and reading to our, our three children when they were younger and now to our grandson. <clears throat> Teachers will tell you it's one of the best things you can do for a child. And one of our favorite books, one we read to our children and then to our grandson, is The Runaway Bunny. Does anybody know The Runaway Bunny? Yeah. yeah. Yes. What's that? My grandson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, then you know in the story of The Runaway Bunny, there's a little bunny who wants to run away. So he tells his mother, I'm running away. If you run away, says his mother, I will run after you, for you are my little bunny. If you run after me, says the little bunny, I will become a fish in a trout stream, and I will swim away from you. If you become a fish in a trout stream, says the mother bunny, I will become a fisherman, and I will fish for you. If you become a fisherman, says the little bunny, I will become a rock on a mountain high above you. Well, if you become a rock on a mountain high above me, says the mother bunny, I will become a mountain climber, and I will climb to where you are. If you become a mountain climber, says the little bunny, I will become a crocus in a hidden garden. Then, says the mother bunny, I will become a gardener and find you. And on and on it goes back and forth until the little bunny says, then I will become a little boy and run into a house. Well, if you become a little boy and run into a house, says the mother bunny, I will become your mother and catch you in my arms and hug you. Shucks, says the little bunny, I might just as well stay where I am and be your little bunny. And he does. So dear church, the point of that story is that the mother bunny loves her child so much that even as the child strays and runs away, she is willing to become, and she does become, she bridges the gap between her and the runaway bunny. She is willing to go, and she does go, wherever her child goes, in order to put skin on her love and to bring him and keep him safe at home, safe and loved, valued and protected, cared for in her arms. She initiates the saving, the welcoming, and the healing relationship. We have, you have a God like the mother bunny. We have a God like a mother hen gathering her brood close. We have a God whom Jesus calls Abba, a term for daddy, a term of closeness, intimacy, love, and affection. God loves each of us, each of you. God loves all creation. God created you, your human neighbor, your pets, all in God's image. God loves us so much that God becomes one of us. God takes on human meat and flesh, the stuff of this life. God becomes Jesus, the God-man, fully God and fully human. In Jesus, heaven and earth come together and are joined. If you want to know what God looks like and what God is like, look to Jesus, the actual Jesus of the Gospels, who cared for and stood on the side of all God's creation. Our words of St. John tell us this morning, in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not overcome it. The word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory. The glory is of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. And from his fullness we have received and continue to receive grace upon grace upon grace upon never-ending, overflowing grace. Grace and truth come through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. So as I get ready to close, I would ask you, think about what, what does all this mean to us gathered here at the Episcopal Church of the Holy Comforter this morning for the blessing of the animals? Well, it simply means that we belong, you belong, all of creation, our pets belong, and reflect the divine image. God is Emmanuel, God with us, God for us, God in us. And because of the life, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus, all of creation, you, your pets, your human neighbor, especially those on the margins and edges, the beaten up and beaten down, it means that all of creation is infused and saturated with, marinating in and soaked in God's grace. All of creation, today with a focus on our pets, are the fingerprints and handiwork of God, a living reflection of the light of God. 
And because of that overflowing grace, that belief that we are God's, that you are God's creation, because of that life is sacred, life has value and meaning and worth and purpose and dignity and nobility. We are reminded today that we encounter the sacred and the divine in the ordinary. Daily ordinary life is all one large space for encountering the divine and the holy. It is one large space for grace. Today we celebrate the presence of a loving, creative, life-giving, and grace-filled God. And God's image present in our pets. In that presence, may you encounter the God who loves you like a mother bunny. Bending low, saying a step ahead of us, waiting for us to stay home and with and in God. God is here, whispering to you through our pets, through others, to all the world. Come home, my little bunny. Come home and stay home and welcome home. And all God's people say, Amen. Amen. Please stand. We will continue.